Well, hello, school families and uh, and students of Good Shepherd's Lutheran School. Uh, welcome to our devotion for this Thursday, April 16th, uh, 2020. Let's uh, open with prayer. Uh, let's all pray together. We pray. Dear Risen Lord, we are so happy that you came back to life. If you hadn't, we wouldn't be saved, and we couldn't look forward to rising from the dead someday, too. Thank you, dear Savior. Fill us with joy so that we celebrate your resurrection every day of our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. Today we're going to talk about uh, days that we should celebrate. Um, this is a, uh, a, I'm a big brewer fan, and I grew up a brewer fan. Uh, I have fond memories of this particular ball game. Um, October 3rd, 1981, I was in the stands with my dad. And uh, at this game, the Brewers clinched their first playoff berth. Um, and I was in the stands, and I got to see it firsthand. And that was a day to celebrate. And I just remember, you know, just thinking to myself, I can't believe they did it. I can't believe they're going to make it to the playoffs. And uh, another, um, uh, people were so excited at the game there. You kind of see in the background that some of the fans are running on the field. That was a little bit more common back then. Um, and I remember just, uh, I saw one guy tumble out of the bleachers and, <laughs> and fall down getting onto the field because they were so happy they wanted to celebrate on the field with the team after the victory. I remember looking at my dad going, Dad, should we go out in the field too and celebrate? Seems like that's what a lot of people are doing. And my dad just kind of looked at me like, no, we're not. We're not going to do that. We're not going to fall on our heads like that one guy we just saw. But um, that was a day where there's a lot of celebration uh, taking place, and that's the the catcher jumping into the arms of the pitcher after after he uh, struck out the last batter. Uh, here's another good day, um, a, d a day to celebrate. This is the day that our Lucy was born, um, and uh, that was our, our fourth child, and that's a picture of us in the hospital. Um, and uh, March 26, 2006, uh, and uh, th that was just uh, it's a good day. It, it was a day uh, of celebration uh, because uh, we had the, the birth of, of our, our Lucy Lou. Uh, this was a particularly good day, too. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what the specific day was, but I know it was in May 2012 is when I, um, I received my master's degree. And um, I, I worked pretty hard for that, and uh, that, that was a day of, uh, of, of celebration for sure. Um, you, you're ne you never stop learning, um, but uh, that was a day that it was kind of a milestone day in my, I guess, educational career. Um, and then, you know, for, for you, I'll bet, you know, a lot of, a lot of good days that you can think of are just like your birthdays. Uh, when, whenever, you know, you celebrate a birthday and have a party, um, and uh, it's just a reason for celebration. It's, it's a good day, and it's also a day that uh, the Lord has made. The Lord blesses us with these good days, and that's how we should look at it. Uh, Psalm 118 verse 24 tells us, and I have the, both the NIV and the, the King James Version. The King James Version has like the V's and the thou's, and it probably there's some parts of the King James Version that might be a little bit more familiar to us, so I just use them both. Um, so the, the more modern NIV, the Lord has done it this uh this done, the Lord has done it this very day. It's not as familiar to me, and that's why I'm having trouble reading it. Let us rejoice today and be glad. And then the King James, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So basically, this, God is blessing us with this new day. Now, of the days that I mentioned before, those were days to celebrate. And I'm sure you can think of some reasons for you to celebrate as well, and some of the, the days that you've lived through. Um, but you know, another day that we should celebrate and hopefully you did have an opportunity to do that was Easter Sunday. And that was just a few days ago. Um, definitely a day to celebrate. Um, why? Well, because Jesus lives, we live also. Uh, and I like, I like the words there. love took on a whole new meaning when Jesus opened his arms and died for us. Um, but not only did he die for us, but he also defeated death and rose again so that we can have heaven. So we don't have to, when we go to a funeral, we, we know that we're going to see this person again someday because of what Jesus did for us. That is a reason to celebrate. We will not die, but rather we will live eternally in heaven. I can't think of a better reason to celebrate, even better than the Brewers making the playoffs. Um, you know, we have our lives 
uh, that we will live eternally in heaven with our Savior. And so what are ways, I guess, that we can celebrate this, that the fact that we will have eternal life? Well, when we're able to, uh, to get together and worship in church. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think it's something, it's definitely something I miss right now. Um, I mean, we are worshiping at home with the, you know, um, re- previously recorded church services and some live streaming we're also doing. And, and uh, you know, so we're getting, you know, fed with the word, um, you know, but, you know, what, what I'm really missing out on is looking around at my fellow congregation members and being encouraged knowing that I'm not alone. Uh, I, these people believe the same thing I, I do, and I think that's something that you find is a benefit of going to church as well. And, um, you know, I, I really miss that. And that is just a way, going to church, attending, uh, and hearing God's word every Sunday is, is just a way that we can celebrate our lives, um, our, our eternal life in heaven that Jesus won for us on Easter. Another way we can celebrate is just by doing good to others, uh, by showing love to one another. When we show love to one another, we are celebrating uh, our new life in Christ because he rose on Easter. Um, and, and I guess another way that we can celebrate is to share that good news of what Jesus did for us with others as well. Um, he, you know, he tells us to go and preach the gospel. So do that. Um, you know, if, if you have a birthday coming up, you probably don't keep that to yourself. You know, if it's your birthday and you're talking to someone who may not know it, you know, you, you, you probably are going to spill the beans and say, hey, it's my birthday today. You know, I'm excited. Would you like a cupcake? Uh, and by the way, that's another thing I miss about not having school, all the cupcakes that I get from all the birthdays and, and things like that. Um, you know, I, I never, ever mind getting my lesson interrupted when uh, a cupcake is being offered to me because of a birthday. Uh, that is it. That is one of the. I didn't realize that was one of the benefits of being a school principal, but it definitely has has become a, a, a benefit. Um, but you know th- that is just like you would be excited about your birthday um, that you're another year older. You know you definitely got to be excited about spending an eternity in heaven with your with your Lord and Savior. That's something you don't want to keep to yourself. That's something you want to celebrate, whether whether it's with cupcakes or, or not. Um, it's definitely worth celebrating. And that's a way we can do it by telling others about the good news that we just can't keep to ourselves. Uh, and then also singing his praises. And there's a picture of our junior choir at a, at a local nursing home uh, that, that I think that's from last year. But uh, there's another way that we can celebrate Easter Sunday. So these are all ways. Uh, Easter Sunday was a great day. And it was a day that the Lord gave us uh, and uh, a wonderful day. And that's why we celebrate that in the church year. Um, and, we, and we bust out the alleluias uh, because it is something praiseworthy. And these are all ways um, that we can celebrate Easter. So every day is a, is a gift from God. Uh, every day is a day that the Lord has made. And let us rejoice and make the most of it. Be glad in it. Doing all these things, celebrate each day. Let's uh, all pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, children, go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let me hear you say a big amen. All right, let me hear you say a hallelujah. All right, this is the day the Lord has made, right? All right, so God's blessings on that day that the Lord has given you and and made. Let's remember that uh, we don't just celebrate Easter one time a year. Uh, We don't just celebrate Christmas one time a year either. Uh, We celebrate it all year throughout. And hopefully we've given some, uh, I've given you some good ways uh, in in which to celebrate and some good things to remember uh, as you thank the Lord for the blessing of this day that he has given you. Uh, We have one more devotion this week coming up on Friday. That's tomorrow. And uh, until then, uh, God's blessings on your day.